Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Quick Sands. Um, if you guys don't remember what happened in the last one, baby, it was a crazy one. It was a very crazy one. Um, our girl Miss Cheryl and Alec got together. You know, they decided, you know what, we like each other. We want to be a couple. Our girl Miss Naomi has still something going on with Levi. Um, if you guys remember, we chose to forgive forgive Levi and he came and he was talking to us and we kind of mentioned that Naomi was um he said was not Naomi and he was talking about how they were doing um Shakespeare how they were doing English and she was kind of like no because you're supposed to be doing pre-calculus or calculus because that's what Naomi told me you know um Jason was over our house you know of course that's our man we're getting real close he was helping us he was helping us with calculus our sister came here there's something that happened that we don't remember or we're just not putting it together um he remembers and our sister remembers and our sister's like don't come back to this house what's wrong with you blah 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 um so he's trying to not be so close to us um hero and our sister um veronica veronica's veronica right came over for dinner um to make sure that our dad likes hero um detective martinez is going to get suspended because he keeps trying to involve meredith and uh veronica in the investigation and the chief of police is their dad and then she's like um no stop all that you know i will suspend you and there is somebody who's coming back we don't know who it is but apparently he's coming back we don't know what that means we don't know who he is but i guess we're gonna find out sooner or later um also oh also i mean that was the most important part also it's very last like 30 seconds of the episode a body another body was found and it was travis so travis has now been found and he is dead so not only do we got bell out here we got travis out here so there's somebody out here catching bodies y'all there's somebody out here catching bodies but anyway guys let's just jump into the episode and see what is the tea well i guess there you have it no one knows anything about it but guilty or not travis was dead maybe he was guilty maybe he wasn't dad refuses to tell me anything travis was dead the town had a memorial for him, and that's where we are. A few people from the police department are here, maybe because he wasn't guilty. I don't know. I didn't lurk anywhere after I took the, that picture on Saturday. I really thought all of this was behind us. Because let me tell you, none of us were prepared for what followed after. Because you see, it was at that very moment that everything got fucked up. I mean, girl, yeah, y'all like prime suspect. Done got that's quite a little scary. Yeah, girl, y'all prime suspect and got dead. Oh, we're into season two. So, I didn't really realize that until that, but I can see that. Okay, so far. Um, uh huh. So this is just about the points. Still calculating. Okay, cool. Almost done. All right, almost done. Okay, we got 15 out of 21 points. Here's a bonus point. Okay, now we got 16 out of 21. This will determine their ending. So there are multiple endings, y'all. Um, we have lots of t opportunities to earn points. So overall, we're pretty good. Um, you know, we're just five points behind, which means we'll get some points later on. Um, but our points with Jason have been separated. So what we're doing with Jason is not the same as our points with everything else. So they have been separated. Thanks for having me over, Jason. Sure, don't mention it. Here's your water. Thanks. I thought I'd pass out. Well, I don't want that happening, so drink up. 
Oh, Jason was also going to tell us whatever it was, but he never got to it because, you know, we found out that, you know, Charles is dead. But anyway, your house is beautiful. Thanks. My mom would be happy to hear that. She goes crazy on interior design when she's not at work. Yeah, you've mentioned that before, that she works a lot, I mean. That she does, yeah. The one day she actually lets herself take a breather is on my birthday, which I'm not so sure about this time. Oh, crap. I don't, I don't even know your birthday. When is it? This Friday. Shit. That's so soon. I had no clue. That's all right. I mean, we had been pretty preoccupied anyway. You're right. It's difficult feeling normal again. So what do you usually do on your birthday? Well, you know, I've been a loner up to this point, except for Axel. Alex, yeah. Yeah, so it's always been just my parents, Alec and me at home. Very casual. Since the divorce, it's just my mom and Alec. You never wanted anything huge, like a party or something? Never considered that. I mean, I guess I wouldn't mind it. Why do you ask? No reason. I... This is a piece of... What's wrong? It's the police station. I saved their number from the last two times where we were asked to come in. Why the fuck are they calling me now? I thought we... No, no. Shh, sh Mary, look at me. Nothing is wrong, okay? They're mostly calling to confirm your details. Or, you know, it could be your dad. I guess that's a possible. It is. Don't stress yourself out. Breathe. It's probably nothing. You're right. Hello? Am I speaking to Meredith Waters? <laughs> Detective Martinez? Ah, you recognize me. Yeah? What to what do I owe the pressure? Pleasure. I meant pleasure. Right. Do you think you can come down to the station today? I just need to follow up on a few things. Um, today? Um, okay, I'll be there. Um, am I in trouble? Um, you know what? Okay, we'll be there. We just want to get it over and we don't want to deal with it anymore, so we'll just be there. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll be there soon. Glad we could cooperate. Thank you. Have a great day. What do you say? He needs to follow up on a few things? Whatever that means. My guess is he just needs confirming on something in your statement. Well, at any rate, I should head out. My dad clocks in at around 5-ish, and I don't want him to see me there again. Oh, okay, just give me a second to put something more presentable on. Why would you want to do that? Should I not? Are you enjoying the view? <laughs> not what I meant, but now that he meant is it. I am. No time for goofing off. Get your ass to the station. Girl, he can wait. Because he can wait. I actually am. Jason's glad you're so up front. <laughs> we love you. Anyway, <laughs> as glad as I am to hear you admit that. We don't need to leave. We do need to leave if you want to get there and out before your dad. Yeah, okay. Don't get me wrong. We're definitely continuing this conversation later. <laughs> he loves us. And we love him. We're in love. So that's where we're headed now. He must have found out something new, which is why he called me today. New? Like, what do you mean? Okay, I can't be the only one who thinks the detective really just wants you to confirm some stuff, right? No, I think so too. I don't think there's anything to worry about. Still, I think we should come clean about everything. I mean, for real, except for the cans and the alcohol, that stuff. I don't see why not. It established that it was Travis anyway, right? Basically, I agree too, let's be honest. Like Naomi said, there's nothing that's incriminating to us. Might as well give them everything to nab Travis. Yeah, sounds good. Okay, we're leaving now. I'll text you guys when I get out. What they say? They say we should go for it. Anything he asks, I'll answer honestly. Except for the cans, though. It's going to sound really fishy if I bring that up, don't you think? It would, yeah. But don't think too much about it, okay? That'll sound very more, even more suspicious. Don't worry, I got it. Also, you don't want to seem too on edge or too on guard. If you do, he'll know you're hiding something. Jeez, how do you know all this stuff? Is there a detective in your family? Sort of. I mean, he did say his dad was a private eye. Anyway, ready to go. I don't know if I said, I don't know if I did that scene, but we had like a, a bonus scene with Jason where we just answered him questions. I kind of did that off to the side. And we learned that the private eye that he has is his dad. And his dad like owes him a lot because I think he like left or something. But anyway, state your name for the record, please. Seriously, detective. What? Don't you think we're past this? That's right. Stay confident. I mean, this is the third time that you're investigating me. Inter interrogating me. A lot of things have changed in the case. You know that, Miss Waters. Fuck, what's that supposed to mean? So I'll ask you once again. So much for staying confident. Thrown off by the very first thing he said. Please state your name for the record. <sighs> My name is Meredith Waters.
Hey, is everything okay? Why wouldn't it be? Because this is the quietest you've been since I've known you. Oh, of course you teeth through me. Ugh, okay, I'll be honest. I've never really done this before. Done what? This. Quite literally. Um, I mean this. I've never been on a date before with a guy I actually really, really like. What? Really? Yeah, go ahead and make fun of me. Won't be the first time I heard it. Georgia isn't capable of emotion and then can't keep a guy around long enough to catch feelings for him. Which, okay, might be true on some level, but I haven't even been with someone I've liked this much. Or maybe I have. Who knows? I just haven't felt the same, I guess. So what? I'm 17. Sue me. Okay, I'm usually all for making fun of misery. Why are you smiling? Because you admitted you liked me more than anyone else before, I might add multiple times all right well you should know that i like you too georgia well there's a lot speaking of why do you like me you're not that unlikable come on no but this this is all we've done since we know each other mock the other until they give up i mean you're you're amazing alex why wouldn't someone like you if anything they'd be crazy not to and then there's me who's been sassing you for who even knows how long guess i'm really throwing off my feelings for you your feelings for me everything really I don't know. I'm just... I guess I don't believe that you actually do like me. In reality, you shouldn't give me a single thought, let alone go out with me. In reality, you shouldn't like me. You're right, I shouldn't. Son of a... Okay, now you're getting like an idiot that you are again. Oh, we're laughing now. Fun. Oh my god, stop laughing. You think this is funny? Yeah, a little. Let me get this straight. You're mad because I like you. No, I'm not mad about it. It's flattering, actually. A damn come, a damn dream come true. Okay, see, now I can't tell if you're being sarcastic or serious. I'm being serious, Alec. I don't know why you like me. Well, I'm pretty sure you shouldn't. You say that you do. And when I like you too, a lot, I'm having a hard time with it. There you go, with the grinning again. I... Damn, Georgia, you're quite the overthinker. Who would have thought? Yeah, well, can you blame me? I told you, this is insanely new territory. How can you not see it? If it's something behind you, then ha ha ha, genius, you're blocking my view. <sighs> no, not that. I mean, how do you not see how incredibly incredible and charming you actually are? You want to know why I like you? Honestly, how can I not? You're the most beautiful, smart, witty, humble, and determined person I've ever met. You could spend all day arguing and not be tired in the slightest. You're not afraid, and in the rare moment you are, you're not afraid to show it. You're bold, you're strong, you're devastatingly honest. The only person who could exchange in friendly banter with me, and frankly, out with me, is you. You're a fighter, Georgia, a wildfire. One that warms me up with the tiniest hint of a smile on her face. I didn't think I'd end up feeling this way for you either, Georgia, but at the end of the day, I'm glad I do. You have no idea how scary it was for me to gather the courage to kiss you that day. You don't know how over the moon I was when you told me you felt the same way. You asked me why I like you, when the question is really should be, how can I not? Oh wow, Alec, I, I really like you, huh? You really like me, huh? If that long ass speech didn't establish that, Georgia, I do. I really, really do. Um, also, really quickly, um... There was a girl that they saw, and Sis came to the police station, and she said that she saw Georgia in the woods. But she didn't say Alex, she just saw Georgia. So, there's that. Um, so we're gonna see how that goes. Crap, what's he doing here so early? It's only four, why is he... Oh, this is not gonna be pretty. Meredith. Well, streak of stupid decisions. Here we go. It doesn't seem very. Oh boy, there it is. Yikes, I would not want to be that dude in the EPI jacket right now. There was right. The line between his family and his position has really started to blare. Hey, how'd it go? Jason, you seriously waited this whole time? It wasn't that long. Come on. I was in there for almost two hours. 
So how'd it go? Well, right, yeah, it was super weird. I mean, we were just talking, and all of a sudden, Martinez is like, go home, which was especially weird, since he was the one who wanted to interrogate me in the first place. The new for scenic agent pulled him out for a new for a few minutes in between, and they both looked super worried. I wonder what that was about. I think that's why he let me go so soon. What's wrong? I think I might know what happened there. No way, what? Your dad's here. Yep, your dad's here, Mayor. What, seriously? I know, I was pretty shocked too. Let me tell you what happened. Martinez, I need an update on... Oh, good afternoon, Chief. Agent Basker, where is Detective Martinez? He's talking to someone about the cash murder case. And who's that? I wasn't made aware of this. Um, I don't know. Let me check. There was a DN car as a witness here two days ago. And today, uh, uh, Meredith what? What was that? Oh, shit. Hand that over. Whatever, you could have seen that. Uh, yeah, made a name up. Well, if you excuse me, he's interrogating my daughter? This is the scariest of the time Jay left me alone in the haunted house full of dolls. I told him to... And to interrogate her without my permission, he's got a death wish. Tell him to drop the interrogation immediately. But sir, tell him the interrogation's off right now and I need to have a word with him as soon as she's out of the building. Yes, sir, right away. No, I have no idea what he's up to, but yeah, no shit, I don't either. But this makes me look guilty as hell. I mean, what? <laughs> Would you believe it? It's him right now. Tell me about it. Hello? Meredith, getting questioned at the station without even telling me? What do you think you're doing? Me? What about what you're doing? All I'm trying to do is keep my family out of trouble. You're keeping me out of the loop defies that in every sense. There are some things you don't know, Mayor, and it's better if you don't find out either. So next time, no, I'm tired of this game. You need to tell me right now. How am I supposed to keep my mouth shut if I don't know what I'm trying to keep buried? I can't. All right, fine. I suppose it is better if you do know rather than keeping you in the dark. We'll talk when you get home. Six o'clock, give or take. Fine, have it your way. I'll see you. So he's gonna talk to me, yes. Six o'clock. It's him again. But it's ten minutes to six and he should be on his way here. Answer it. Yeah. Hello? What do you mean you can't make it? You told me you'll tell me everything, but you don't understand. Everything has changed, Mayor. Everything, what do you mean? Travis Henderson was just found dead. Dad, what, what the hell? How, how was that even possible? What happened? I'm not going to talk to you about this, dear. Just letting you know that I'm needed here, so I can't make it. You can't just drop this bomb on me. And then I wasn't supposed to tell you, but I thought it'd be better if you heard it from me rather than huge press coverage around this case. Oh, thanks, I guess. I, I don't know. But wait, Dad, what about our talk? I'll tell you this, sweetheart. After this revelation in the case, as far as I'm concerned, there's nothing for us to talk about. What? Dad, don't... It's for your own good, Mayor. My own good? I, I have to go. Don't talk to your friends about this. Not unless... Not until the news is broken, at least. Which will be only a couple hours away. Dad, don't... Don't hang up. You're about to speak to me. You wanted to speak to me about the autopsy detective? Yes, I heard you finish the paperwork. Yes, I needed it to report to the, my superiors at the EBI first. Have you read the report yet? I did. I'm sure you know I've got questions then. Of course, if you don't mind, let me explain from the beginning. We found Travis near the town border, some of his clothes and cash with him, making it seem like he was on the run. But his injuries definitely say different. Travis was killed between midnight and 1 a.m. The same night... Bella Cash was murdered between midnight and 1, 3 a.m. 
Why does Cash's time of death have such a large a window? We found her body one week after she died, detective. There's no way we could narrow it down further. All right, let's get this straight. So, like Bella, Travis was also a victim to blunt force trauma. But Travis was killed before her? Yes, sir. There's no way he could have been the murderer if he died first. Then that means the murderer is still on the loose. Correct. But the murder weapon is both, in both cases, aren't the same. In Dentions speak volume, sir. So there's a chance for multiple culprits to be involved. True, but there's high likely that's highly unlikely because of the circumstances surrounding that night. But never mind the number of people involved. The fact is Travis Henderson is not the killer. Someone else is, and they're still out there. Whoever it is, they kill Travis first and then Bella. Fuck. And then all my theories have been wrong so far. She's not gonna like this. Not all theories, detective. Oh girl, Georgia going down. Georgia is going down. So Weathers is your suspect for now. Makes sense, doesn't it? Too easy, maybe. But that doesn't work in reality. I'd be duped if we dismiss her as a suspect chase a hundred other leads only to land back on her you're right we got the evidence too what's stopping you from making the arrest i've just started the paperwork on the arrest warrant but i've been told that we now have a very lazy judge in jurisdiction but it could take up to a week anyway that's awfully late but this way if she runs away in that time you'll know for sure that she did it that definitely sets it in stone I know that look what are you thinking have some faith in me camilla i just think i'll drop by the memorial tomorrow okay sounds good poor kid both of them actually it sucks that i spent this entire time exploring the theory of him being a suspect only to be blindsided by the fact that he died first it happens to the best of us Leroy. don't sweat it yeah well by the way have you heard it's apparently schwartz is coming back to work soon uh, already yeah he dropped by before your shift started he might start on Thursday. Well, what the chief say? You know that man, Leroy. There's literally no one who can read him. But you can tell he's glad for another detective to get on the board. Especially since your top suspect was ruled out because of the reason none of us saw coming. Look, we all make mistakes sometimes. Don't worry about it. We believe in you, Mar Martinez. All of us do. You're practically the chief's ace. Oh, so we're being sarcastic now? Shut up. Besides, I'm more than sure your alternate theories checked out. Right. Thanks for that, Camilla. I'm glad to have you on my team. I'm glad to not have a monkey for a co-worker. <laughs> oh, that's my wife. I gotta take this. Not Camilla got a wife. Love that for her. Love that for her. Clean, you slimy son of a bitch. Why'd you come back so suddenly? And why the hell are you up to now? So how long are you back for this time? Could be permanent if everything works out. At least a transfer for a minimum of two years. Is that not the detective's wife? That's her, right? Perfect. So the detective's wife is sleeping with the new transfer? Who is that, Leroy? Leroy? No, it's about work. I need to take this. He is fucking ugly. I'm sorry, that was rude. I mean, yeah, not really. He's ugly, but the bitch is ugly, but still. I didn't have to say it like that. You better watch out, Martinez. Pretty sure you've heard that I'm back by now. Ever so happily, I'm going to take everything from you. And mark my words, I will destroy you. I mean, to be fair, to be fair, um, to be fair, his wife sucked in the first place. So you can take her because she kind of just sucked. So we ain't going to be mad if you take her. But anyways, after the funeral, Jason's. You went to the woods? Calm down, Mayor. I will after an explanation. Gee, come on. What the hell were you thinking? You promised me that you wouldn't go there. There's no easy way for me to say this without sounding like an ass. 
But you guys, you have to understand, there was a very real chance that my choker could have been there. And I wasn't going to go to jail for it. In all fairness, it was there. The cops just beat you to it. I mean, that's fa fine and all. What's done is done. But you're a real suspect now, Georgia. Honestly, how the fuck is there an actual witness who puts you there? Pretty sure the witness is fake. As in, someone's chosen to mess with us. Why do you think that? Because, um... I was there too, with Georgia in the woods. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. This is exactly why I trusted him to prevent from happening. Okay, you were there too. Why would the witness go and lie to the police? If they're trying to frame Georgia, sure, but why keep you out of it? Did you see anyone? We did. There was a girl. She goes to our school, actually. Who is she? I'm the one to judge, but this is hardly the time to be keeping secrets. You're right. We actually know her, Jason. Remember Deanna? Wait, Deanna as in Deanna Carr? Her? Just, just wow. Okay, who's Deanna? Meanwhile, isn't that... It's been that long already, but why is she talking to Martinez? Assistant Clark. Oh, Chief, hello. How can I help you? Who's Martinez talking to over there? That's an unfamiliar face and a lie. Oh, him? That's his nephew. I don't know much. Well, Martinez doesn't have a close relationship. At least that's what I know. Well, isn't this a glorious bite in the rear end? If this is true, I need Martinez out now. At least while Mayor is still involved, but how? I see. Thank you for telling me. Keep up the good work. How do you know each other? Well, long story short, I set her up with Jason. You, you guys dated? No, don't worry. It was it was nothing serious. It was just one date. We didn't click, and that was that. Right. Okay. Real subtle, Mayor. So the three of you just know each other, nothing more. No, which is exactly what surprised me. Why would she try to keep me out of it if we're not even friends? Stephanie, are you here? In the shower, babe. What the fuck is that? That ain't your watch. That ain't your watch. She a cheating hoe. That ain't your watch. Ew, did I buy this? Oh, I have some very questionable taste. In the trash you go, right where you belong. You did tent. You did tent. Boy, it, it's trash. I'm going gonna go to work on some file cases in my office. Don't wait up. I never do. I know. <laughs> trash your wife is trash all right let's see what we got here <gasps> cute <gasps> very cute <gasps> Ooh, even cuter it's giving aloha vibes but we like this with the skirt so yeah <laughs> oh no we don't stop sis love that for us hey Deanne, right? Did I pronounce that correctly? Uh, yeah. Great. I'm sorry to startle you. I'm Meredith, but you can call me Mayor. Okay. Now that that's out of the way, I solicit no offense, but why are you talking to me? All right. Well, one of us needs to talk to her. Finds out what she knew, what she knows. Okay. Yep. But definitely not Georgia. Why not? Well, clearly she wants to frame you. Probably not the best idea, honestly. Fine. Who then? I don't know. Maybe Naomi? What? Really? I mean, you're the least intimidating of us all. No offense. Not, not even. I don't want to be intimidating either. But I think the exact reason she won't tell me what she knows. That she won't think I mean business. Well, what about me? I suppose you're the perfect balance of calm and intimidating. Yeah, I think Mayor's got this. You sure? Trust me, I'll get her to talk. No reason, I just wanted to talk to you. Say, when did you transfer here? Junior year, I think? Yeah, that's right. So how's everything treating you so far? Well, it's all good. Really, how's your calculus? Um, sure it is why. Dang. Alright, small talk isn't working. Should probably refrain from jumping in, though. How about your cal grazing calc? 
Listen, I would love to chit-chat about calculus, but you and I both know why I'm here, right? It's about your friends, isn't it? More importantly, it's about what you said to the detective. I don't want to fight. Don't get me wrong. I don't think any of us have any beef with you either. But why would you tell the cops what you saw? Look, I don't... Fine. Maybe you're trying to do your part as a good person and help the investigation. But then why wouldn't you say that Alec was there too? Why would you protect him like that? Episode needs to get better serious talk animations instead of un another zillion flirting ones. <laughs> For real. What the actual fuck is this? <laughs> Love that. Trash them. Alec, don't play dumb, Deanna. I know you him. I know you know him and Jason too. Because if you say something about our man, you're going to get choked out. Is someone blackmailing you? Oh, wh why, why would you think that? It's a little textbook. You're unusually nervous and shifty. You have no reason that I know of to want to harm any of us. You conventionally left Alec out of their statement. Someone's holding something over you to make you do that. Am I right? You can tell me. The five of us are literally at the heart of this mess. You can trust me. I might actually be able to help. I, I can't do this. Just leave me alone, please. But Dia, seriously, just leave me alone. You're not in trouble, right? So stop acting like you care. But they're my friends. I can't let them go down for something they didn't do. And friends or not, neither Georgia nor Alex deserve this. Look, they've been... You're very lucky to have a friend like... They're very lucky to have a friend like you. So ready to look after them. But I... I can't help you. I'm sorry. But just leave me alone, okay? Hey. Hey. I take it talking to her didn't go so well? No. It was a mess, actually. Pretty sure she's being blackmailed, though. She shut down when I brought it up, so that's gotta be it. Well, then that's not a fail, right? We just need to find out who it is. Maybe they know the killer. Or plot tips. They actually are the killer. When did you get so optimistic? Maybe you're bringing out of me. Good to know. Based on your previous office and you're open to flirting with Jason. <laughs> oh, hey, speaking of, I think I'll talk to Martinez again. What about? What about Deanna mostly? Maybe he can figure out something more about this whole blackmailing mess. Sounds good, but what about your dad? He was raging mad the other day. I've got that covered. He told me he's going to be home by 5.30 today. No offense, but that's what you thought last time, too. <laughs> right, right. You said he wasn't going to be there at 5.30. He come in at 4 o'clock screaming at everybody. No, I'm definitely sure this time. He needs to clean up his home office and take back the case files he bought home over time. Apparently, everyone at the station who's taken any files or evidence home needs to do it. But he's a sucker for administrative stuff, so trust me, he'll be home at 5.30. All right, if you're so sure. Oh my gosh, my eyes. Just to be safe, though, I'll stick around until I actually see him leave. Can I drive you there? Trust me, I'd love that. But Naomi and I are supposed to hang out after school, so I thought I'd just go with her. Oh, sure, no problem. Text me if you need me, okay? I know. I know, because we love you. Go ahead, give me a kiss. What? Nothing. You just look different today. Different good? Yeah. You're just really pretty. I. Not that you're not pretty every day. You're just prettier than usual. I didn't know you found me pretty. I'll be sure to be more obvious about it then. I hope. Because we love you, Jason. The file should be in my office. Gotta be quick. That's oh. everything. I think. <laughs> the fuck was that? Stephanie? No, it couldn't be her. I'm pretty sure that ho don't got a job. Idiots decide to break into the wrong house. Stephanie, no, Roy, sweetie, I can explain. Oh, you can, can you? I wonder how you could possibly explain you cheating on me. How could you possibly justify you being with someone else behind my back? By all means, enlighten me. I... And who the fuck even is this guy? Uh, and this ugly motherfucker, he looks like a duck. No, long time no see, Leroy. Clean? Are you fucking serious right now? My wife? Too far. Are you out of your mind? 
Are you serious? And seriously, this guy stuff? I do. How how long? Ever since I you shot your trap. I want to hear it from her. Tell me how long. Tell me how long you not only been cheating on me, but to do it with the reptile of a man who made it to a point to destroy literally everything I've been working for. You're mad. I let it slide this time. Oh my god. Well. I've been seeing Klein ever since he came back into town. And there's an ant. No, no, and, and nothing. That's it. The communication gap here is crazy. What she meant to say is, Klein, don't. I'm not your husband's biggest fan either, but he still deserves the truth, don't you think? What truth? She's pregnant. Oh, nothing. Just that. Remember when I initially joined this department? I don't like how pleased you look at yourself right now. But yes, you shamelessly tra trailed me because you wanted to continue this rivalry. How about it? What about it? Ah, oh, you remember her. Oh, and when it started, we had to stop naturally. I was transferred. Now I'm back, so here we are. Two years? You've been cheating on me with the scum of an earth and kept her from me for two years? Not that good of a detective, are you? Go fuck yourself, Klein. No need for that. We already beat his ass. Beat his fucking ass. What the fuck are you smirking about, you mas masochist? Nothing, nothing, you see the world, dearest. You just dug your own grave. What you say? I don't speak pathetic loser. Even though it's your first language. Oh, we got you there. I was really looking forward. I was really looking forward to our workplace banter again. Too bad you just robbed me of that. Ever try getting to the point for once, Shawross? Are you sure you want to talk to him again? Uh, I clicked too fast. He's the only person I know right now who doesn't have a conflicting conflict of interest in this investigation. I think my dad's conflicted because I'm involved too. Not to mention he probably knows what Veronica's hiding as well. The tension was so readable at dinner last week. He didn't even berate her boyfriend. I'll get it, Mayor, but do you think he'll believe you? He has to. According to everything I've heard about him, Martinez has always been about justice. And when he questioned me on Saturday, he mentioned that he thinks I have a conscience. And I have always found the truth out of my own. I think telling him the whole truth about the cans, the factory, Veronica, Deanne being blackmailed, everything. But telling him is the only solution I see right now. I understand, Mayor. I told you, we trust your judgment and you usually write about your gut feelings. So if you think it's right, then it probably is. Thanks, Nay. Oh, look. It looks like your dad's heading out. He looks surprisingly pleased. Oh, well. Wish me luck. Oh, excuse me. Do you know where I can find Detective Martinez? Do I look like I work here? Oh, I'm sorry. I No, I'm actually asking you. Do I look like I work here? Because if I do, I need a serious wardrobe change. <laughs> no, you're good. I'm just desperate to talk to him. I hate my cameos. Ew, don't see me again after this, I promise. <laughs> Love that. Well, I haven't seen him. Okay, well then, thank you. I... Hey, I... Oh, hi. Meredith, right? You're the chief's daughter. Yeah, that's me. The chief left like five minutes ago. You just missed him. That's not a problem. Mm-hmm. She's looking for Leroy. Why are you on a first name basis with him again? I'll be in the car. Daydreaming about... Chitrasis? Barbe's Tursen. You take care. Seriously. You're gonna need it. Oh, thank you. You too. Anyway, do you know where I can find Detective Mart Martinez? It's important. I think I saw him in the locker room. I'll go check. Thank you. Was that me, or did he just seem eerie? In other news, this place really needs a renovation. You could steal anything at this rate, but no one would notice. Yikes, I just insulted the place my dad runs. I mean, he could run it better, I'm just saying. Dad, why wouldn't you tell me what the hell's going on? Oh, hey, jackpot. Uh, detective? Oh, I'm sorry, Miss Waters. I didn't see you there. He seems distracted. I was literally right here. Um, I'm sorry for starting you. Is everything okay? Is everything good? Detective, is everything okay? Just dandy. Sure it is. Anyways, what are you doing here? The chief already left. Yeah, I know that. I just need to speak to you. It's about the case, detective. I, I can't talk to you about that. Just give me a second chance. I promise I'm not lying. No, I mean, I really can't talk to you about that. What do you mean? Why not? I'm off the case, Mrs. Waters. What the f- But why? That's because... I've just been suspended. I told him. 
I told him to stop all that foolishness and he was going to get suspended. He was going to get suspended and he didn't want to listen. But anyway, guys, that is all that I have for you today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And of course, be back for more episodes this week. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.